Hey guys, let's uh, do a quick market wrap up. This is Martin K from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to the quick daily analysis that we are trying to restart. And this is for tomorrow, Thursday, October 26th and 28th, 2023. So, what did we have, right? A lot of things. Um, market is sliding downside, foreign institutions solving, down institutions are still buying, market is broke major supports and sliding further down so it is extended to five to seven percent now and the global queues continue to be not that great technically the charts are weak right? and india weeks also has now started spiking above the 11 at least right so it's a four percent spike that is happening today and it's an across sector sell-off except probably in the metals and except that all sectors all major heavyweights also are getting sold off right? Opponent is showing that it's 19k and uh, 19500 on the upside, 19k on the downside. That shows a lot of foot riding and call riding respectively, showing the support resistance. And tomorrow is a monthly expiry, October monthly expiry. So it's tend to be very volatile. You never know what happens. And momentum the trend obviously it's turned to the bearishness. There's no this is confirmation of that. And, and Global markets are not that great, but some hope is there since US market seems to have found some support and then lower also has uh, a spike. Big rupee is weak, but oil has dipped, but the gold is spiking up, it's still on top. So, mixed bank global gives are not great yet. Again, as I say, industry opportunities to them. We get HDFC at 1500 now, buy some of it and then continue to buy as it falls down, right, all the way. Fundamental quality stocks is an opportunity likewise for the investors. The trade is its cautiousness. Right? Let's look at this uh, support resistance levels on the charts quickly. It's a nifty on the left side and bang empty. Let's look at the nifty and see what, what we have. So what has happened today is I don't know. So this this is the five no five point six percent of all from the top all time high. M pattern formed, support breached, which is the neckline of the M pattern, which is coming at 19,000. 19,000 if it holds. We may not have this M pattern on the Nifty, but Bank Nifty is already confirmed by pattern breakdown has happened. So, it supports near the 19.5 has marked here. Resistance is all the upside. So, it's it's M M that's visible, right? It's a gap that has got breached today at 19.200 levels. And the gap support is here near 19k. 19k is a rounding number, big rounding number. So, we may get some supports there at least for tomorrow. It's an expiry. Fibonacci extensions, uh, Fibonacci retracement level shows that there is it's a breach of 23% retracement has not happened. Right? Even if it is going down to another thousand points, we still may not have breached uh, the 38 bits of retracement. So, so that way also we can look at things. You know? The correction is happening after 30% rally as I say. Look at the bang nifty. It's um, it's 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 a seven nearing eight percent of correction for the top. M pattern bridge is already confirmed, and uh, here we have a less than one percent fall on both magnitude also. So we're at forty. We bridge to forty three k. That's also a rounding number breach has happened. Supports next. Right, it's all the way down till thirty eight. Anything can no major supports are seen as such. All we can do is look at this previous swing highs you where know, we may send support like for example 42k rounding number and previous swing high could provide some some supports right? if that's breached then you get to the 38 percent retracement which comes near the 40,000 41,000 then 50 percent retracement come near the 39,200 so any breach below the uh, 68 below 37 500 and all would be really bad but the previous swing high is at 38 uh, 500 nearby zones right so at least till that place you no know, if it is turning further it can fall the interest supports the previous swing highs in the Fibonacci retracement levels that's what we have to watch out for that's for the bank that we are seeing so that's where we are all right so traders you know, investors an option to buy in in sip as ips not in bulk they may get far more you know cheaper uh, if it's much because it's crashing but go for only quality stocks traders you have to be cautious go for spreads completely hedged the risk is defined because given given the uncertainties no if the war is over then suddenly the market may reward spike back it's even more for our city so 
you know you may lose all you know you, you may not get things cheap and we may you know have regret for that so i'll be cautious in downside reverses can come in any time because there are support zones there are gaps there and which could actually support the nifty still bank is slightly more weaker so i'll be extremely cautious still mix is not that great but if it is going beyond the 15 or reaching the 20 absolutely stay out or cut short drastically if you're if you're trading derivatives and options so traders are extremely cautious so buying option for investors that's it traders can go for bear pole and bear bear put spreads you know depending on what your view is for me it's absolutely bearish view right in both the indices so be extremely cautious go for spreads non directional will be difficult because market uh, can directionally go one way and then we may find it too difficult to catch up if you go for weekly options or monthly options and no adjustments may be very tough because it will be very swift you may not have any enough premium or enough time to adjust it if it slides very fast so if you're not a professional trader in the options stay out of it right now yeah option buying could be uh, this may be the right time for option buying opportunities if you're putting you know good risk reward if you're taking good reward trades on the put side you know it could work out but uh, on directional trade opportunities when the market is completely directional on either side it will be too tough to handle so be cautious cautious about it that's all wrap up happy training happy learning happy investing right play it safe bye bye